Woo, let's go. Whoa. Happy birthday. Hey. Oh. Happy, Happy birthday. Happy birthday, dear Ab. 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 Happy I've never had Lola's cupcakes. Oh my god, life. Lola's cupcakes are hey. amazing. Oh, they're so serious. I've never had it. Much. No, Let's not talk that. about Lola too much. They're not paying us for this. Oh, so. uh, they uh, never uh, had Yeah, yeah, bro. Okay, yeah. <laughs> but we love Lola's cupcakes. Let's get our sponsorships. <laughs> no, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It means a lot. Well, great intro. Has great. anyone got a problem this week? I do. Go on. Sorry. Yeah, you guys ready? <clears throat> yeah. yeah. So, being the child of an immigrant, very proudly so. I despise it when native English speakers have a problem with people whose first language isn't English and they're trying. Like, that's what I've got a problem mm. with. I was in a shop and somebody was huffing and puffing at an auntie. She was a Somali auntie who was really trying and they're huffing and puffing. And I had to say, yo, like, be easy, man. That's yeah. what I've got a problem with is mm. native English speakers being up their own ass as they usually are. <laughs> it's British people, they're too entitled, that's why. Absolute ass swipes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really like you in my country speak my language. When you go to bloody Spain and you're Ollie Bobs, yeah, you ain't speaking Spanish. So how about that? So one yeah. Sylvester Paul Faville. Exactly. Unless you're <laughs> reading the <laughs> unless you're reading the food menu, isn't it? It's like crazy. <laughs> you try reading the accent as well. <laughs> <laughs> I like that though. Try when you're there. Don't no, just be try. there saying I want tortilla. <laughs> no, try. Tortilla, yeah. one tortilla. <laughs> one tortilla. Dos beers. Dos beers. <laughs> 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 no, I hear it though. It's a respect thing. You've mm. got, um, you got to just be understanding, isn't it? Yeah, man. What's your problem, Max? <laughs> My problem's a bit uh, lighter than that. Mine <laughs> is, uh, you see, you see, they, they've they changed the lids on drinks. <laughs> yeah, where oh they, you can't take the lid off. Yeah, crazy. That's just every time, yeah, because I'm one of them guys, I'll get a little smoothie or a protein shake. Mm. Yeah. Both require shaking, which means you pour it and then you've got a pool of drink yeah, there. Woo, woo. It's just created a okay. problem. It's not solved tea, the problem, tea, you know. Tea, tea, tea. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, though. Because sometimes I'm like, yeah, this works. Nah, it's yeah. good. It's good for the, if you've got a big bottle where yeah. you're pouring out drinks, cool, you don't want to lose that cap. Mm. But if you've got a drink, you don't lose that cap. It's not, yeah. not solved yeah. the problem. Some people do. But it's about how, sustainability, how? right? But also, if you lose that cap, you can just back that drink. But the point is that people don't recycle both. That's why they've done this. Oh, is it thing. recycling? Yeah. Because okay. people don't. People okay. just recycle the bottle, not the okay. not the lid. And they're just so that's it. why they've just attached it. I didn't personally think it's necessary, but yeah. they've attached it so you can just dash away one time. Right, but, yeah. but you see, when you go to a festival, it's bad violent. They've just opened the whole thing yeah. and oh, give you the whole yeah, bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's so I'm like, come on, man, allow like, it. You got to drink an entire <laughs> bottle of water in one sitting. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> give me the cap. Yeah. Right, Stop that, man. As a clumsy bank, though, I always drop the cap, so I'm quite happy it's there because I just want to. Sometimes I want to save the drink for later, <laughs> innit? Because yeah. so. like losing caps. Yeah, just drink. losing caps. Capless woman, crazy. I got a problem actually. Oh, cold. Birthday problem. Why is everyone starting a running club all of a sudden? Because everyone's single. I'm miserable. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is it to, is and it to find a baby? No, 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 no. Yeah. Doing it. And this is how they advertise it. Because I've been asked to join a running club. So I'm like, <laughs> why is everyone starting it? They're like, you know, because it's, it's a little dating thing, and it like you get to meet new people. What, b- brother, are we running? Are we communicating? What? Yeah. Yeah. Can, I mean, I I just, can I just I'm, say? Whack. When the running club, running clubs have been about for time, you know, let me just say yeah, that, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Especially in the white community, they've been running for like five, six years. <laughs> with no one chasing them. Just <laughs> come here. Yeah, no <laughs> Crazy. Crazy. It's just landed here. Now there's a lot of like black run clubs, etc., etc. When my friends first joined, it was genuinely to run. Then yeah. when they got there, yeah. Some of the men were looking nice and sweet. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Well, isn't it, isn't but they went there to run and for them, they're still running, but because like Twitter and stuff has like caught onto it, now people are like, they're watching the TikToks and they're yeah. thinking, I should go there to find a man. There's like but they of don't them. have the stamina. No, Tinder did a run club event where they yeah. did like an event with, with a running with club. Runner, yeah. I don't mind that though, because I'd rather promote something healthy to find someone 100. than to go club and drink. But it's like 50 and... men and three women, bro. Like, am I? Let's hope 47 of them are here to run. That like. means there's, I've got a choice. <laughs> you know, I can't choose. Yeah. I will <laughs> say, I think the man them there are genuinely running. Yeah, so like, like if yeah, you're genuinely yeah. coming to like chirps, I don't think it's gonna go that well. <laughs> At least be able to run and then chirps whilst you're running. What was I gonna say? If a man is taking a time out of his Sunday to just go run for the heck of it, 
That might, he must have his life together because why the hell are you just running on a Sunday at eight o'clock in the morning? Why are you just I like running? the sound of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Got A Problem podcast. Whether you've got a problem with popular culture moments, things are happening in the media, things are happening in the government, even if the way people breathe stresses you out, this is the place for you, right? Wow. We are your hosts. Let's introduce ourselves, everybody. I'll start. My name is Kim. I'm from sunny South East London. I'm most known for chatting nonsense on TikTok and having my own podcast called Out of Office with Kim. All right. I'm Max, also known BTB Max Online. You know me, it's mostly chatting about music, UK rap scene, all that stuff. Hi, my name is Isra. Um, I'm, I guess I'm from Northwest London now, uh, <laughs> but I'm known for being a radio presenter, award-winning, by the way, just thought I learned Jeez. it in there. Uh, Jeez. What, 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 Sometimes what? you have to support yourself, innit? it? <laughs> and uh, I also create content uh, to make people laugh, and it usually works, so... Um, <laughs> Stanley. Amir, content creator from Northwest London. Uh, also got my own podcast called Last of the Real. Make sure to check it out as, as well. Um, and yeah. Stanley. Bow, 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 bow. And you're the birthday boy. And the birthday, yeah. my birthday today. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right, all right. Let's get into the charts. Producers, darlings, what have you got for us? Yeah, this was a Mazzoli. I saw the Stonehenge one. <laughs> She's she so happy, trotted, man. man. She I looks love so her. Happy. It is her actual PJ. Like, this is her. Yeah, it's her oh, it's, oh, it's looking like easy jet right now. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> 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 That's really <laughs> upset. She's she done this. This how she waters plants, bro. Big love to her, man. Okay. Standing. I didn't Fight know power. They, So they, they clip the fence to get in. But I swear airport security tends to be madder than that. What the hell? Yeah. But is it parked in it? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know if PJs are parked. Nah. <laughs> so what does everyone think about that then? Because I think, well, I d it's not my PJ. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, well, you, I'm not upset. It's not, <laughs> <laughs> it's not upsetting it's to me. It's only affecting one person. Sorry to hear that your private jet got spread, didn't yeah. it? But obviously, <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie. Respectfully, I understand that she's like a major artist. She's got a world tour. That's why 100%. they've targeted Taylor Swift. Hundred percent. She's coming to London. Her MRs are the craziest. Like, she's got the record for the shortest flight. Yeah. Like, she took a five minute flight. Mm. That's no so way. Way. The half hour drive. She took a five minute flight on a private what? jet. And so no one... it's fair that Justin Bieber yeah. targeted her. Hundred yeah. percent. Because the the thing is, what they'll do is they'll now shout about Beyonce's private jet or, or Jay-Z's yeah. private jet, but it's like, okay, you've got a global superstar who just so happens to be a white woman who's not getting as much bad press of using a private jet. Mm. Obviously, we understand how the media work. Mm. So it's one of those ones. And a lot of the just oil protesters are people coming, uh, like just uh, the stop oil protesters, are usually people coming from middle class backgrounds. Mm. So they're using their privilege to do actually something about climate change. I love it, man. Spray up the I team. I rate how simple yeah. it is. Their whole thing is just the oil. Like Hundreds. there's nothing else to it. Just the oil. Hundreds. But, she's still, gonna, but, but, but she's still gonna jump on another plane anyway. Yeah, she's or she's still still will, will, but they massively inconvenienced her. <laughs> Slightly. Because if you're, if you're <laughs> someone, yeah, if you're <laughs> someone like this is bad press. Like her private jet thing, that's that's bad press. And I feel like they've done stuff to try and stop people tracking their flights. It's not that deep. Exactly. So it just adds more bad press. Wait, what's not that deep? As, as in, like, like uh, she's traveling for five minutes on a private jet. That's Just get terrible. A car. As yeah. in, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. I thought you were saying the opposite. I was saying, yeah. Yeah. Line bike or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's true, it's true. Cold. <laughs> How do you guys feel about oil protests altogether? I love it. When they don't affect me, I kind of rate yeah. them. Like, yeah, yeah. I find it kind of yeah, funny yeah. hearing that no. someone just sprayed up like a football pitch orange or mm. can I get orange. It. Can I ask how would it how would it affect you, for example? Like, what is a way that it would affect you? Do you mean you? like, like if you were on if the I'm way somewhere? Yeah, because I'm not. It. If I'm driving, yeah, if I'm driving, I see just one Donny laying on the, on the ground like this. But I think they've changed. Yeah. I think. Well, I've, I don't know. I might be wrong, but I think they've changed their tactic. They used to just be disruptive like that, mm. and it was just harming the everyday person. And like actually stopping people going to the doctors and that. Now they target like events and yeah, like yeah, yeah. Good. things I've, that activations. have. I got yeah. a question. Do you think there's some sort of like? Do you think there's like a group chat or a little hit hideout cult? They must have like 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 like, 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 like in a random like in a random warehouse. No, baby, no, but we come together at night with like hoods hood, and stuff. It's a Facebook group for shout. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's like, like illegal like in terms of having an organization. But no, obviously, no. what they do is disruptive. I want to know what happens to them. Do they actually go to jail? Or do they just get like? They might get a little. Little, yeah, little a suspended sentence. Some of them get on yeah, community slight. service. Mm. Do you know what I mean? But also the way the police treat them. Do you not remember that guy who's like a doctor? Mm. The guy's worked in the NHS for however many years, and the police are just like being as violent as they can. Was, was he a, one of the protesters? Yeah, yeah. one of the protesters mm. who was in the road. Respectfully, I, I'm very, I'm, I'm 
part of a country that was part of the Arab Spring and it protesting is in my blood. Mm. So I'm very pro protesting. I think everyone should have the the, the power right. to say, mm. fuck this, man. I don't mm. want this shit. Like I believe yeah. in that. Mm. And I think even if it Say if somebody's going to hospital, I don't agree with that. If it's an ambulance, let the ambulance through, right? 100%. Even in war, there's like rules yeah, for war. Yeah, you yeah. can't target certain mm-hmm, things. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I think for me, if I'm going to like an event and somebody's booking my way, fuck, I'll take another yeah, route. Yeah, but see, but th- that's my point. Like, how is that gonna impact? If me, if you're blocking my, if you're blocking my way in like on the M1 yeah. whatever, mm. how is that gonna? But impact? they're obviously trying. Yeah. Yeah. I don't get you angry so awareness. that. You- you're but, but, like, we need to do something about it. And the only way these guys are ever going to stop doing this is if the government actually yeah. makes It's not going to make me be like, okay, do you know what? You're so, right. You're fucking my route. All right, do you know what? I'm going to join your gang. It's not about you. They're not trying to put pressure on you as an individual. They're yeah. trying to put pressure on the government because at the end of the day, if us as a society, if we keep getting pissed off, yeah. Yeah, yeah. we're See, getting fuming. They've got, I mean, they don't be doing anything, yeah. but they've got to do something. Do you yeah. know what I mean? I yeah, do yeah. think though <laughs> that they could target like less on the individual, like yeah. us everyday mm. people, because when we talk about carbon footprint and stuff, it's always about the individual. You need to recycle, you need yeah. to do this, but yeah. like yeah. the yeah. big Flying fucking corporation and, and yeah, yeah, people doing PJ here, PJ there. Do I even think, do I even think PJs are ethical? No, I don't think anyone should have a PJ personally. Yeah. Like just get in fucking business class or the, the business business, do you know what first, I mean? Yeah, first, mm. first, first, first class. Be all right, surely. Mm. The point is, I think I'm, I'm uh, same as you, I'm here for protesting. I do think with some of these angles, they should be focusing on, the bigger people. Cause yeah. it's always the little guys that have to do all the work. Like yeah. me recycling, yes, amazing, but that ain't doing nothing for the you ozone layer. Com- corporation dumping shit into the water. Thank right? you. <laughs> no, but I think I think the reason why, cause I, I hate what you're saying. You I gotta think th- get I, the people behind you. Yeah, I yeah. think the reason why they're targeting people is because if, uh, if enough, like it's, a, it's brand awareness, right? It's mm. like elite mm. levels of marketing. If they go through like the corporate way, the the legal way, mm. these like how many businesses have not paid tax in however yeah. many years, and mm. the, the HMRC are up my crack yeah, asking yeah, for yeah. a penny. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's one of those ones where they've tried to go the legal ways. They have, like yeah. they genuinely have. It's not worked. I would do this. I'm just about to piss everyone off. Then everyone's yeah. coming down. Yeah. Like, yeah. Everyone, everyone can everyone, get it. Everyone can get it. <laughs> everyone. Hey, large up them, man, man. On that note, we're gonna move on to the fourth on the chart, which is the impact of feminism on society. So this graphic here is off of the back of a survey that we done, where we found within our community of 16 to 34 year olds, they said that one in six males felt that feminism has done more harm than Mm. good. Shocking. (laughs) How do you guys feel about that? So shocked. At the end of the day, with the rise of incel culture, of course, <laughs> not many people have critical thinking, yeah? Not many people can back yeah, up the things true. that they're Hell saying. No. If I sat down and said to you, how, what negativity, right? What negative thing has feminism done? I'd like to hear yeah, what the answer, like an, a, like answer. an actual substantial answer backed up by, I want statistics as well. P-E-E, like mm. what? Because yes. to me, feminism has, obviously I'm a woman, obviously, but feminism has only done good, like, Two. and we could go a lot further, if I'm mm. being real honest, we could really take us to the next level, yeah? yeah. Mm-hmm. But where we are right now, as women, like we're in a good spot, we could mm. be in a better spot, but in comparison to where our predecessors were, we're in a great Hell spot. Yeah. So for me, what, what, harm? what, How what, is that what more what's harm? the negatives? Yes. Yeah. Kim, do you feel that feminism has only done good? I think feminine, what I will say is I think feminism has definitely benefited certain women more than others. That mm. is what I will say, white women specifically. You know, a lot of them were camp. That when they say feminism, they're talking about white feminism. They're campaigning for themselves, Dude. and then it's like everybody else is together. So I will say, in that respect, it's not equal. Yeah, we've moved forward, but there's still there's still yeah. lots of discrimination, and there's still stereotyping. There's all these negative things, and I do think there are some women when they say they're feminists, they mm. mean a white feminist. They just don't say mm. it. Too. So would you say that's a problem with feminism or just r- racism as a, another problem? Yeah, intersectionality. Do you know what I mean? It's always... So it's all added <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like you can't... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> from yeah. every, you get it from every angle, right? Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. But I think I think because of the rise of inceldom and like... I think when people think Andrew about fe- Tate. feminism... <laughs> Andrew Tate. People like Andrew Tate. When people think of feminism. I think some people, they're thinking about women are not in the house cooking dinner anymore. They're on the street shaking yash. Yeah, we fucking are. <laughs> yeah. If they want to. If they want to, they should. Yeah. And that's what... Yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's about if you want to. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And I think when they talk about the negativities, they're just being very old school. Self-interested. And it's it's not helping anybody, yeah, darling. Yeah, sure. You're lucky there's only four men in this room. They said one in six. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. one in <laughs> But no, I think, it's, I think what you're saying is like very, very important. I think 
as in like as a like an ideology like genuinely as like mm. a uh, an ideology there's nothing wrong with feminism it mm. can't do harm yeah. it cannot 100%. contextually though in practice because humans are the problem mm. when we now try to uphold it that's where the issue lies so that's where you've got white feminism and you've got which is again like you said max is like an issue with racism mm. over the uh f feminism as a whole so i think yeah man there's there's no th there is no harm that can be done with feminism and actually feminism has undone a lot of the, the bullshit as a result of a patriarchy. So mm. for example, when men mm. say, oh, well, we can't talk about our mental health. Mm. And it's like, well, that's as a result of men mm. and not yeah, allowing you to not talk about a that. Feminism problem. Yeah, that's yeah. not a feminism problem. That's another issue. I think there's a lot of things people, when people see a movement, yeah, too. if they're not involved in it, but there's something wrong with their life, they'll very easily shut that down as opposed mm. to actually come to what's wrong with It's them. very, very all life matter vibe. Yeah. Like, yeah. What about me? What about yeah. you? Shut up me! <laughs> Talk about it then! <laughs> do you mean, who's get stopping your you? Ting. Yeah, 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 do yeah, your yeah. thing! Yeah. Support me, be win, an you know? ally. I do my eat. job. <laughs> you do your thing <laughs> over there, I'll do my thing over there yeah, and we'll we be allies, do you know what I mean? We can chop it up. Yeah, real. What about you? I mean, you are hella quiet over there. No, but I'm trying to... I'm he's trying the, he's to, the yeah, one. Yeah. He's the Found one. Six. I, I'm the one. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to ask, where would you where would you then take it? Take what? Take what? Take who? The, the um, What you saying earlier. Feminism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think that we need to be looking within the movement. And I think, like, literally what I said, we need to be breaking some things down. How do we break down some of these barriers? Like, mm. how do we... It's equality, right? Because yeah. we... We're talking about trying to get equality against men, right? But how do we as women get equality within the sphere of women? Mm. And, and what is defined as womanhood? Not to throw it there, but talking about trans women, they should be a part of the movement as well. And there's so mm. many women who are against that. Mm. So we've got some issues in our in our pots is what I'll say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we're moving forward, literally what you said, it's amazing, but we have mm. some issues within our pot. And I think as women, as people, we need to be able to talk about them mm. openly. Like, yeah, we've won for feminism 100%. There's so many people who are still oppressed. Yeah. So, Two. who are we fighting for, baby? Mm. Yeah. Can I hot up the birthday boy producer before we start? Why? Is that all right? No, 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 not in a bad way. You know, <laughs> you know, the no, but we're from similar cultures, isn't it? So yeah, I'm yeah, North yeah. African Arab, you're obviously Arab, just for the people watching who might not know. <laughs> I, like, in my experience, yeah, yeah, I want to get your perspective. In my experience, Arab men, let me just say what it is. They hate women and feminism, man. They love marriage. They love the idea of get, getting kids, but they're not. How is it, your, in your experience, do you think, like, the way that you view feminism, or not? maybe not you specifically, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, but no. the mandem, growing mm. up as an Arab man, maybe? I don't think it existed. Yeah, yeah, too. Growing up, it didn't exist. Mm. Mm. It was always, like, looking down on the woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, it, you know, it was the whole typical, it was the typical of, Women should, should just be doing this. Yeah. Mm. A man should should be doing this. Yeah. The idea of men working growing up, it wasn't, it was just, what's the word? It was unusual. Mm. So men being a breadwinner and then a woman being, you know, staying at home, mum, yeah, be yeah, cooking yeah. and cleaning and looking, yeah, off, yeah. looking after children. But yeah, it was, yeah. But that's what, but yeah, yeah, our cultures were like that. Yeah, 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 they are. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the cultural yeah. nuances to it. Yeah, currently. As well, obviously, yeah. everyone's different, I suppose. Yeah. Max and Amir, I'd love to know, what do you think it is about feminism that threatens men? You're I, sexy what and bad. Like you're sexy. <laughs> <laughs> you got it in, yeah. <laughs> I think what you're saying about the incels and stuff, I think the whole reason that ooh, this Andrew Tate movement and all that has come is from men feeling lost. And again, if someone were to explain to them what feminism, is, fem, feminism actually is, they'd understand it, whereas they've been presented like, a, oh, men should be like this, women should be like this. Mm. And you as a man can be better if you follow. And it's just like, I don't know, I think it's quite polarizing and it kind of, you're taking people to one side or the other, there's no middle ground. And I feel like we just need to have more conversations. And yeah, then if you understand feminism and it's maybe even taught by men to men, mm. so they can understand it, they don't see it as a you versus me thing, mm. then they won't fall into that. That's kind of where I'm. I feel like. I should agree with that. I think, yeah, it should be taught as well by men, men to men. Have you guys heard about Meninism? Ooh. Meninism. <laughs> a movement of philosophy often presented 
satirically, satirically <laughs> in favour of the rights and interests of men. What are the rights and interests of men? How Tell me this now. Shut up, man. What are they? Shut up. We just, just unlocked a whole new ism. What's up? Meninism. Yeah. What, did I, what did I just say? Yeah. What go. did I say? People, what? You want to make... And I said make your thing over there, but I didn't mean it. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Like, don't make meninism. I'm just kidding. I'm just what, is, kidding. what is meninism? Meninism. It's, 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 it's done as like an outrage tactic to basically yeah. like just meninism. take eyes off the actual thing. And it's like, no, what you're doing but is what are the, trivializing in, what it. Are the, why do we need to have a thing for men when we live in a patriarchal society? Mm. You, Everything is geared in the world for you. Yeah, why do you need a movement? Like, yeah. we have a movement because of you. <laughs> yeah. You can't try to double down. To yeah, yeah, correct. We've done a distract think, movement. Wait, wait, what's that guy's name? again the one who um he's, oh, he appeared on like joe rogan podcast like three four times he advocates for men all the time he's saying like oh he's like how could men how could women have a say against men when men are the hardest working and are they what's his name again what's his jordan name? peterson yeah who's that we don't yeah, know. Yeah, no, and we I know. know. Is, 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 I haven't heard this stuff. We don't know Drew, for a reason. Drew, Drew if, 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 if I'm if I'm correct, if I'm correct, so you're saying, meninism. Wait, sorry, 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 sorry. Can you just break it break it down for me again? <laughs> Movement of philosophy often yeah. presented satirically in favor of the rights and interests of men. Northern so it's presented English. as a joke, <laughs> satirically, right? Yeah, satirically. Okay. Yeah, so it's so satire, it's, it's, it's a response. It's not, so it's not, it's not like gen- men oh. genuinely. It's not like a real or... union okay, of men. Right, it's actually not funny sense. though. I was trying to think, is there like a logic to it? Oh, oh, there I is thought, okay, I thought it was actually like... A thing. A I reckon thing, there yeah. are some yeah. trying to do it. But okay, but if it was actually a thing, but then Jordan Peterson, Jordan Peterson would actually advocate for that because he's like, oh, why would um, women stop complaining all the time? Da 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 da. And men need to, are the hard workers. They're the breadwinners. They're the ones who go to war. They're the ones who actually do m- most of the work. Mm. So I think we really actually... most of the work. I would really dis- dispute that particular point. So who's starting these wars? Let's 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 make another <laughs> point. <there. laughs> I don't know you. a woman that started a war, but I can name plenty men. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That's a weird movement. If that, well, there's also disaster, what you were saying about the Andrew Tate culture, Max. There's yeah. this thing, the Manosphere. The Manosphere. Which is a collection is of saying? websites, blogs, online forums that promote masculinity, misogyny, and opposite to feminism. So, yeah. There's nothing wrong with promoting masculinity. There's nothing wrong with that. But toxic or fragile, hell yeah, because this incel culture is people blaming their own personal inadequacies, yeah. their own insecurities, the fact that you mm. have a whole universe set mm. up to help you win and you're still a loser, yeah, yeah. you will find someone else to blame it on. It's the That's losers. where it comes it's from. It's actually loserville. Loser That's actually what <laughs> insult. No, because it is, they're so fuming. Yeah. <laughs> mega, they're mega so fuming. <laughs> <laughs> so they've created this thing. You're a fucking loser. Yeah. So sorry to break it to you. Population. And I've realized in society, yeah. there's nothing worse than being a loser. Yeah. Like that's why they, that's why this is the first cuss when you're yeah. a child. Loserism, <laughs> mate. Loserism. Number three on the charts. We have the role of the government in regulating the economy slash cozy living. Cozy lives. <laughs> One is so like news title and the second is <laughs> cozy lives. This guy's doing oh, this shit. He's an ice cream bun. Oh, I love this girl. It's so easy. Just two ice creams with two chewing gums in it. Yeah. For bloody nine pound for two of them. Yeah, nine that sounds quid like something you say. Yeah, nine quid. That is going to get nowhere. One that comes with my street is either one pound a pick. Or two pound, like he's gonna get nowhere with that. No, he ain't. It's I love no, well, the gym. So he should know. She's cool. And he only does bloody cards. Stood there with my cash. Bloody hell. I well, love, I love it. it. I love the anger. Yeah. It's even mad that she can tell. I hope you can hear me. Yeah, yeah. Come. Yeah. It's mad that she can see inflate. She's so small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The yeah, fact yeah, that she yeah. sees me is happening too rapidly. Yeah, You're not crazy. being sly with it anymore. Yeah. You know, yesterday I went out, went home, you know, normal yeah. day. I got the TFL notification, it said £10.35. Bro, I said, tell me about it, man. I hate the TFL one, man. It's a sneaky one in the middle of the night. Yeah, I thought, you're taking a fucking beer, darling. Yeah. What can we that's do? Vi- that's violent. What can we do? Yeah, that's inflation is crazy. Because also, like, wages wages are not feeling the inflation. They They're haven't not gone up. up in about 50 fucking mm. two years. Since we've entered the workforce, my wa- what, <laughs> what has gone up? <laughs> Stress. Prices have gone up. Yeah, everything. big fact. Yeah, um, for, like, young people at the start of the 
work mm. life we're feeling it a lot even people trying to like li- just live just like live, in right. london right yeah. Yeah. trying to live outside your parents house in london is like an extreme fucking sport like, oh, yeah even like, like just trying to treat yourself to a drink like that shouldn't hurt your yeah, weekly yeah, yeah, budget yeah, 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 you yeah. should be able to do that mm. sorry like, nine pounds for two ice creams is actually no, fucking no, that's outrageous that's what ice cream oh, i hate you what buff ice cream you. is that yeah. i want to taste i hate the way did you talk biggest hater hell yeah because yeah, the point of ice cream is for kids as well. You're meant to run out and grab whatever what, change you've got on your side. You, got, yeah, yeah, yeah. you could but get something. The 99p flake. If you need a little yeah, ice yeah, pole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. A choc ice. <laughs> yeah, Go to the little ice pole That was a vibe. Used to run outside with my round pound coin. None of that shit with yeah. edges. <laughs> I ain't seen a pound in years. <laughs> yeah, no. Who's seen a pound? <laughs> I ain't got changed. <laughs> It's true, man. That's mad. But the government should do better, and you guys are waste men. And it's because of Brexit that the fruit yeah, and vegetables I'm buying is... tastes crap. Everything is half Brexit. of it is rotten when you rotten. buy it. Yeah. Why am I buying strawberries up, and they're rotten by the, the time next it's day? Mass. Furry, what's going on? Crazy. What's going on with that? And there's no taste. There's no sour. There's no flavor <laughs> in it. I went to Cyprus last week. I was eating watermelon. Well, I you think mm. I never ate in my life. Just. <laughs> 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 oh, I saw Rishi tweeted today. He said something like. We should be only be buying things from Britain. Like our food should only become. What do you have? You ain't got planting, yeah. You ain't got ackee and salt fish. Bro, that doesn't grow here. Potato and carrots. We're we'll eating the most horrible food yeah. ever. Yeah. yeah. It's we need. Uh, yeah, bro. It's we need Russians. trade. Yeah, yeah, we need. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this guy, gosh. this guy, who his own wife is a billionaire in in India, and he's richer than the royal family. His net worth is more than the royal family in the UK. You can suck out. Do you know yeah. what, do you know what, do you know what he is? Out. A loser. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Big loser. Big well, loser. <laughs> Rishi, loser. that one's for you. <laughs> do you guys ever think about when you go on to have your own children, if any of you want children, mm. um, how much money you'll have to give them as pocket money for school versus what we had growing up? Yeah, mad. How It'll much pocket money did you get, first of all? Um, when I was well, when I was like a child, it was like fifty p a week, then it was like two pound a week. When yeah, I it was like yeah, it was like, yeah, like yeah, a yeah. tenner for the week or for something. Week, yeah, but yeah, in yeah, those yeah. days, like if you had a pound, you can go shop, get crisp drink, sweet. But I used to save that after school. <laughs> SFC in Edgeware Road, two for two. Wait, you man were getting pocket money? <laughs> <laughs> that is outrageous. Yeah. I won't get no bread, no <laughs> money management. That's why I'm spending. Wait, money we know free school meals. I. I was on free school. You remember the fingerprint? There was the fingerprint. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Fingerprint. <laughs> yeah, do you remember that? Yeah. That's technology advancements there. But the kiddie wings. So what I've actually heard is time. kids don't even sometimes have an understanding of actual physical money because yeah. everything's like tap tap tap. So their their perception of how to spend money is off from the jump. Mm. That's yeah. a from good the point, jump. So know. it's like when they're giving the pocket money before your mum mm. would give you a little cheeky ten pound. Mm. Now it's like yeah. put the money in my monzo. Yeah, so yeah. I honestly, when I think about trying, I think about my life. Yeah, I have a decent life. I earn a good living. Do you know what I mean? I could buy mm. what I want when I want, not too much. I think if I had a you, that you would starve. That <laughs> you would yeah. be so hungry. Yeah, t- 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 Where's the money? Mm. Do you know how much? Yeah. It, do you know how much it is to do a food shop for a single human mm. me, and then a kid? Yeah. They'd be eating oh, you out of human. house and home. They're saying but, it takes up. It's about a quarter of a mill to raise a child from zero to 18. And that's with like free education. That's crazy. And, and that's with other little treats as well. I, I wouldn't, I would have raised them. I want to raise my kids in the UK. I'm going to be for real, for real. Where would you I, raise them? I hate this country. Fair. Somewhere hot, number one, for their yeah. mental health. Good. For their, for their nutrition. Good. To go outside and play vitamin D. To go outside and go play in the sun <laughs> so I don't have to deal with you sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And somewhere I think that is more family-based as a culture. This society mm. is so whack. Yeah, but we've lost community, that's why. Mm. With our generation, it's slipping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's slipping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When it's I was finished. younger, when my parents said no to buying certain things, now I get it. Of oh, course. Yeah. Now I get I it. You know, you're fuming. I understand. But now, now I get it. I was having this conversation with my brother yesterday that because I grew up with a lot of siblings, mm. we used to just play. Like we were outside all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did so much stuff and like I re- like I understand that these days kids have got technology and yeah. I'll be very aware of that and I will not want my kid on an iPad all day. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll mm. do but what is I can. It, is it it, it's not as safe now to have your kid just running on roads. Like yeah, when we I'll, were seven I'll, and six. Yeah, Well, you're going to stand there all day. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that's why <laughs> I want to leave England, man. Like, mm. it's just not here. But do you think it's safer to have your child outside or have your child just... On the internet? The internet's dangerous, yeah. Yes, but outside with who? That's what I'm trying to say. Like, on the internet with who? No, because on the internet, they'll be because everyone's everyone's buying stuff online. So they'll be like, you know, I want that. I want that as well. I want that. Robo blocks. Buying stuff on the robo blocks. I don't really know. I don't really know how we move forward because, as I'm saying, like the culture of playing out on your road, that doesn't really exist that much now. We had that, so it's calm. But for these kids, like they sitting on streaming and God knows what all night. It's crazy. I do. I am deeply concerned about 
kids being on social media deeply concerned yeah. like for my own kids but God. you also don't want to have your kids who aren't allowed to go on these things when mm. they go to school they're gonna get bullied yeah, yeah being yeah. that kid that can't do something everyone else is doing like it doesn't yeah. so you've got to toe the line i suppose but it's, it's when it, i think it's where like i've got nephews that are my blood nephews but he's my nephew i can see that sometimes the ipad is and this isn't the mother is not my friend so i can say this mm. but the mother is um i can see sometimes just uses the ipad just as to a, get the kid away yeah to get the kid away and mm. preoccupied mm. from your duties as a parent so i think that's where the line is i get it it's I like it. you've got you've got due diligence after your child is on ipad time you should be going through mm. the internet history yeah. and oh, 100%. Older, do you know yeah, what i'm saying yeah, yeah. and it's like like you said cap it kind of thing and mm. actually if the child is screaming kicking figure out why the child is kicking and screaming as opposed mm. to dash away iPad in their face and it's, yeah. oh, shut up kind of thing. Yeah, because like, a lot of I people, think. like I see a lot of parents, like the kids are begging to be played yeah. with and stuff and the parents mm. just go, no, 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 play your iPad. And... So, no, they need human yeah. interaction, Definitely. like affection. Mm. That's what it, hold your use. I try not to make a generalized, I always try to speak like, I ain't a parent. I mean, I've got yeah. no experience of being a, a, a mum, right? Yeah. I see some people's, fucking struggle with parenthood mm. Mm. and giving their kid that little iPad for the one hour, sometimes like, I hear it. it gives yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, and, and me as well, yeah. I used to bang Sims on the yeah. computer yeah. for hours. Ooh. And that's great for my mum, I'm off. Obviously Sims is different because no one can talk to you on there, no one could groom me or anything like that. Yeah. But Club I, Penguin, they could. I, I, yeah, 100%. Oh, yeah, other, other, that's Hub, a Hotel as well. Uh, Hubble Hotel, that's coming back as well. They brought it back. They brought yeah, it back. Coming back. It's coming back. Yeah, they yeah, brought yeah, it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, can we play on it? Yeah, well, I like the kids on there because I don't play with kids. Do you want an 18 plus room? Yeah. <laughs> but hold on, hold on. You didn't need that room. Hold on, hold on. Be real. Okay, so if you, let's say if you had a child today, be real. Would you actually convince them to go outside? Like, seeing yeah. as... I'm not, so so you're like, no, 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 like, be for real. Would you actually tell yeah. them, would you just dash them with the no, iPad? I would because take... Out of laziness, or is it just that, actually, I'm still, I need my time. I need my time. I'd have to try and take them to the park with their friends. Yeah, but we're not talking about taking them. You know, yeah, like in our you, day, you just went you outside. Growing up, like yeah. as they're young, you take them out, out, okay, out. So they want to okay. go out. That's how I would. I think like a, lot, a lot of parents have the balance of like doing mad activities with their kid, but yeah. then also they can have two hours screen yeah. time. Or, because mm. kids do want to watch stuff. Like even yeah. as a kid, yeah, you watch yeah, TV. Them down with yeah. But I think yeah. there's obviously like an imbalance of people like they're with the iPad for the whole day. Yeah, I think yeah, you yeah, just that's terrible. control. So you're, yeah. like, you, mm. If you're in charge of it, you're on top of it and mm. learn from yeah. it as well. If the kid's on the iPad all day, then maybe like yeah, you yeah. need to wind it down. So it's or... obviously something going on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this next one on the chart is a two-parter and the topic is cultural exchange versus cultural appropriation. We've got two videos to show you for this. This okay. is a woman oh, called Annie. Oh, this, this page. woman! <laughs> from who? This page drives me mad. Oh. Uh, what kind of princess? Uh, <laughs> yeah, just wait though. You have to wait for the the, the result. She, yeah. She, she, said real, <laughs> no, she said real life princess. <laughs> who is this woman? As in who the I main? Mean, you get the joke. Can I can, I, can I ask you something? Like I'm not being I'm not playing devil's advocate. Does that actually bother you? Can I just let me? Does it, does let it let actually me, bother oh, you? Oh, do you want to play the other one? The Let's yeah, watch the yeah, second one. Yeah. I'm really, I'm just curious. I really need to know this. I gotta know. Right, take ten, I just, I, take okay. ten breaths. Take ten breaths. We're coming One, back. <laughs> hashtag King Von. Hashtag Afro Perm is a hilarious combination. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the first thing. Where the hell are you about to take us? <laughs> oh, I've seen. Video. Oh, God. God. Oh, is Damn. this in Japan, isn't it? Yeah, I know these brothers. Look oh, at them. I've seen this. <laughs> hey. Horror. Horror oh, show. my gosh. Horror show. That was in my head right now. Look at that. That's crazy. Huh? Oh my gosh. Epidemic. This is an epidemic, by the way. He's going to do this one at Tokyo Carnival. That's what he's going to do. <laughs> you know, they've got Carnival in Tokyo. Why? Yeah. <laughs> they do. It's mad. The obsession is crazy. Yeah, it's mental. Oh my. That's actually but, 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 so impressive. How do those videos I'll, make I'll, you guys feel? I'll not... comment. I'll comment. I'll go yeah, first. Yeah, 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 as yeah. I'm the only I'm, black person. I'm not even yeah. playing devil's. I'm just curious. I'll like, say my first thing. The first one with yeah. the, the, the girl hairstyle, this is what I'll say there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just looks fucking awful. That's what my issue is there. That just looks terrible. No, that just sure. doesn't look Who nice. Who did it as well? Adele did it. What was it? No, right? the little Bantu knots, whatever. Forget that. Let's discuss what's on the screen, yeah? Yeah. That, my crochet, issue, my issue with the crochet is that it genuinely doesn't look nice. That's yeah. genuinely my issue. The second one, my actual problem is this obsession with blackness, right? And yeah. what? And I'm gonna get real deep real quick, yeah? Cool. 
as a black person growing up in society, you're always told growing up that your hair is unprofessional, having locks, having afro, all this stuff. We got the stick for having these hair, so it's just our natural grown mm. hair. Mm. And now people take it as a trend. Mm. Even when we're talking about people doing their edges, in school, you've got edges, your ghetto, all of these negative stereotypes mm. put on people. And then white women just take it as a trend mm. and it's okay. That's what pisses me off about mm. it. Like also the fact it looks horrible. But <laughs> my main gripe is like, as a black woman, I got so much negativity from the hair that grows mm. out of my head yeah. and you just using it as a fucking costume because mm. you think it looks cool. That's why, that's not what I'm I'm with. I can differentiate appreciation and appropriation. Appreciation is stunning and it's beautiful, but I think when, when the actual group who created it, it caused so much negativity, why should you just slip in and just be able to do it with no fucking mm. backlash? Mm. No backlash at all. It looks nice, it looks nice, don't look yeah. nice. Mm. It's like that guy, it's like that guy, I think there was like Korean writing in the corner video, so I'm gonna say it's Korean, he might, he's, he's from East Asia. Mm. The way that black people get treated in those countries as well, horror show. Mm -hmm. It's not like they're going there and then you are now celebrating them and this, you're, it, it, the the nicest form of, of othering is that you'll take a picture, which is also, they're just a human being on mm, holiday. Why do you mm, need to do that? Mm. But yeah, it's, yeah, it's whack. Man. I was impressed by this. I didn't know you could, they could you can do, do that. that. Yeah, you can be, you can, do, yeah. you can do it if that you want it. That was crazy. It. <laughs> You're gonna be a treat well next after week. this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna rock up with a little, <laughs> I'm gonna come with Afro next week. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was genuinely impressed, but damn, damn. I can't do that. Like, you know what I have Max is gonna come in next to me just Yeah <laughs> Check this, this one, this one, this one <laughs> This one, yeah uh, Yeah I mean, it, would, it would be a difference I guess <laughs> oh, <laughs> Sorry, damn. it's not that funny, it's actually quite bad yeah, no, it's very bad I'm not, I'm not gonna weird. do that <laughs> Where do you guys draw the line between cultural exchange mm. and appreciation versus cultural appropriation? Ooh, tight one It's tight I think it also depends if you're like for example, if you're playing that like, homage to something, like say we're talking about music and because so this be happening sometimes where white, let's say white singers forever are really in their R&B bag. Obviously, you know, R&B was started by black people. I think if you've got an appreciation and like you pay homage to like, I grew up listening to Lauryn Hill, da, 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 I think it's absolutely fine, personally. It's when people do the cosplaying stuff. Mm. That's when the line is drawn. We're doing too much tan, we're doing this. We're, we're trying to look racially ambiguous, right? Yeah. And when people are commenting, you're not correcting them. That's when I'm a bit like... Rita Ora. Rita Ora. Everyone thought Rita Ora was mixed race for a long I time. I thought Rita Ora was mixed she's race. She's Albanian, isn't she? Yes, yeah. She's, she's Eastern European, bro. Yeah, yeah. It was like Albanian Kosovo. Yeah, well, like yeah, Kosovo. Yeah. That's right. Eastern. Yeah, she yeah, wasn't yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah. And it's like she was profiting off of being racially ambiguous. Yeah. And it's also things like when people cosplay and it's like a white person is, let's say, speaking in a specific way, right? Yeah. And they are getting opportunities because like a white hood girl, yeah? They're getting mad opportunities. But if a black girl did that, just speaking how she speaks, they don't get afforded the same grace and the same opportunities. That's where I just find it a bit, a bit tricky. That's where I'm a bit like, mm, it's a bit, mm, it's how I feel about it. Because I think, but the thing is, the reason why people pick up on those things, I think is the human brain. We like things that are different, right? Yeah. That's what it is. And things that stand out. It's like the news. The news, for example, so many bad things happen day in, day out. Good things happen day in, day out. But they're going to pick the most sensationalist things that they can mm. to pique your interest. It's the same mm. way where it's like, it, because of how society is, like mm. say, what's that? Um, what's the Catch Me Outside girl? How about that? Right, bad baby. Yeah. the bad baby, that babe there, for mm. example. The reason why she was like got those opportunities and blew up, and she's threatening to beat up her mum on live TV. Mm. <laughs> First of all, that's how you know it's America, because if it was in the, the Arab world, <laughs> hey, they would have been outside the studio. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but the reason why she got afforded those opportunities is because it's like, oh, we didn't expect her to talk yeah, like yeah, that yeah. kind of thing, and it's like different. the sensationalist point of view. But then you also get some people who, for example, might have been raised in you know certain areas where mm. you know you get a white person who might be raised in yeah, yeah, yeah. like yeah. That, in the ends. Ends. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and you talk like that because that's your surrounding and that, mm. and that's but that's the understanding but come on there's certain words that you there's can't a line say though, yeah. yeah there's a line there's a line do you know what i mean don't say because all, you, all your friends grew up saying a word that you I can say it's oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what i mean yeah, yeah, it doesn't yeah. run <laughs> can't run what about rachel dozo because she no. said she was uh, brought up with black Who? kids rachel, bring her rachel here dozo bring her here she she's basically a... she's a white woman she was cosplaying as a black woman to the point where she was at like, the president of N nacp she just like made her skin a little bit darker and she oh. had like that hair that hair she had the crochet hair so people yeah. and also because in america blackness is like it's all everyone's a little bit mixed up some people right yeah. so she looked biracial yeah. maybe and but besides the it. naacp point yeah though, that's and she important. was the president of the naacp i don't know how Wait. she did yeah. that because pe no one 
she just looked racially ambiguous. And this is why I'm saying mm-hmm. about this race, this racial So what, ambiguous. she was passing as yeah, but a she black woman? But she was saying that she was black she as was well. She was saying that she, yeah, that's she crazy. She was saying, I did it with a documentary. The documentary's dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She had yeah. a really dark childhood, yeah, yeah, yeah. but that's neither here nor there. Anyways, she was we pretending. We beats, bro. Yeah. Don't mean you She get was to be pretending black. to be a black woman and profiting, like, getting opportunities that's for black mad. people. Yeah. And that's when it's like, that's not appreciation. Yeah. Appreciation is like, I love the culture. I love the food. I love the people. I love the music. Not cosplay. I'm going to dress up and start taking opportunities from people. There was another yeah, guy just... who did it as well and he was getting, well, he was getting money. Sean something. Something like that, yeah. Like he, Sean King or something like he, that. He got, he got like, he won awards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This man was white. Yeah. He was, just like, he was just like, I just never corrected anybody. Yeah. Like, that's when it take, goes too far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, I think, I also think appreciation, there's levels behind appreciation because you can say you love the music, you love the culture and all these things, but when it comes down to it, be there. Like, stand there. Yeah. And this comes across all types of culture, all types of anything, right? Mm. Whether you're participating or whether, for example, I'm a radio presenter. I work, like, for a hip-hop and R&B station. Those are predominantly, all, like, all genres of music have, in the West anyway, mm. have come from black roots. That's rock, country, uh, gospel, all of that stuff. Mm. It's come from black roots, that's fine. But mainly hip hop and R&B, that is the genre which most artists that participate in are in black. I understand as somebody that there are certain things that I that I can't do and I appreciate that. But mm. what I will do is shout about the artists. If there's something that now affects these artists who are black in this community, then you also, the same way you did enjoyment, come and speak about the serious mm. stuff. Yeah. I think that's the appreciation part. Mm. Because otherwise you're just participating and profiting. For the, for the whole of yeah. it, yeah. yeah. It's, 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 I'd love to know what you think about North Africans, yeah, who feel that they they can use the N word or Crazy. feel that they can draw from likeness of being black just because of where they are geographically. Mm. Ask about how, how do you feel yeah. about that? Being North African, so in in North Africa, you will get native North Africans who are black. There are Afro mm. North Africans, mm. and the same way that you get like Afro Iraqis, you mm. get mm. Afro Persian yeah. people. Like it's and these are like migration patterns. But in Libya, in Morocco, Tunisia, you have a population. If you are black racially, because there's a difference between ethnicity, race, mm. nationality. Your ethnicity can be North African, but your race may be it, it may be black. Brilliant. Say the N word, run it. Fantastic, because that's you. But if your ethnicity is North African, but your race is not black, shut your mouth. I don't want to hear it. I don't mm. want to. Not a peep. Not a nothing. I understand that maybe when you're growing up, there's a there's that level a level of you don't quite un- have that cognitive understanding of of race. But in 2024 now, the way that things are accessible, there is no excuse. Mm. Are you in 1991? Like my, I remember my uncle, for example, I'm hot at my uncle. My <laughs> uncle from my mum's side of the family, who's not a black North African, for example, he, I was into 50 Cent with him in 2001. The guy would sing along with it because that's he's heard it in the music. Da, 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 da. Mm. Now though, when I've gone and I saw my uncle in December, the song comes up, I said, uncle, you can't say that, you know? Da, da, da. Oh yeah, that's how I under- Thank you for that. Mm. But when he's like 23 in like 2001, there might not be that understanding, but now there is. So then mm. now there is no excuse. You can't oh, well, you know, I don't, shut up, man. You don't know. That's not awesome. <laughs> you don't know. Yeah, real. <laughs> I don't know. But that's, that would be my response is understand your ethnicity and mm. your race. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I'm North African as my ethnicity, but I'm not a black woman, Mm. you know? Period. Period. Mm. Glad we could clear that up. I feel like that's a lot of discourse, especially in North African communities. I didn't know about about this. It's really interesting. Yeah, Yeah, because a lot of North Africans don't know. A lot of North Africans don't actually know where to place themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're African. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but you can be an African doesn't mean you're black. Do you know what I mean? But that's <laughs> it. But then there, there, there's a mix. So my mum's side of family, they're North African. My mum's side of family are Arab. But my mm. dad's side of family are Amazigh, which is the native mm. North Africans. And there's Moroccans and uh, Moroccans. The Alger- Algerians as Alger- well. Mor- yeah, they're in yeah, Mauritania, yeah, yeah, they're yeah, in Niger, yeah, yeah. they're in Chad as well. Mm. So they're like an ethnic group mm. yeah. that have like gone through. So like North Africans are Arabized. We're not Arab. Yeah. The Arab culture okay. came. Yes. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. the yes. that's we speak the language yeah. and it informed our culture, but the same way that like Islam informed Turkey's culture. You know how there's mm. little, we all love the evil eye, yeah. for example. Yeah, 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 shit, yeah, yeah. Got like it. shit like that. Yeah. That's what it is. So, so yeah. interesting. Thank you for sharing that. Any problem, anytime. Mm, mm, mm. On that note, we'll be going to the last one topic from the chart. You guys are disgusting. Chart, I hate these people. Which is barefoot walkers. Stunning. Why? Okay, I'm going to show you guys the video. <laughs> it's actually really good for you, apparently. Oh, I, oh, no, I, I, love, I love nature. What were the benefits? Uh, Apparently, you should have you should, your feet shouldn't yeah. be no, squeezed I, I, up all I, I day long. Yeah. So health be... benefits, according to orthopedic professionals, walking barefoot restores our natural gait. So like your toes will go back yeah. wide, and padding structure of shoes 
uh, that, that shoes can over time prevent us from using certain muscle groups that strengthen the body. Okay. Walking without shoes can improve balance, help with pain relief. Um, and improve like mechanics of your knees and stuff. How about I don't give a fuck? <laughs> I'm wearing shoes. No, see, they I actually nice. hear, I hear the, the points. No, do you feel like your feet- I disagree. Do you feel like your feet are in prison? Yes. I'll, I'll be nah. honest with you, yeah. I'll be honest, I'm wearing- Yeah, well I, you chose to wear heels. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, <laughs> Take them off. They're cute though, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I'm wearing size four and a half clocks, yeah. This shoe is squeezing up my Tootsie yeah, Rolls, yeah. I ain't gonna sit here tonight. Breathe, man. But let, let me tell you something. My foot looks Chris, yeah. Yeah. My foot looks nice. Imagine I was sitting here right now chatting to you, just toes sprawl out, yeah. wiggling them in your eyes. You wouldn't be yeah. you wouldn't be happy with that. Bit mad, isn't it? I will say I'm actually like I, I've actually. <laughs> funny enough, I, because the amount of times I wear heels, yeah. The doctors have said that I might need surgery on my ankle in a couple of years because I wear heels all Let the, them toes yeah. out, all the time. Man. So what I've recently started doing is going to a park near my house, taking my shoes off and walking for a bit. When I go home though, do I wash my feet? Yes. Will you catch me in a Tesco? Barefoot, walk up, walk up, aisle three. No, no but no. sometimes it's good to go tush grass. You know what I mean? I know a guy, yeah? I ain't gonna bait out who he is, yeah? I know a guy, he told me a scenario. He says, he says he likes to be barefoot most of the time. So I said, well, why don't you go take the, the bins out? He was like, yeah, boom, barefoot, walk out. And then oh. I said, and then I said, when you get back in, then what? And he's like, I just wipe my foot on the mat. And then I said, what, get in bed? He said, yeah, no wash, nothing. For the mm. bin. Just walk out. When you say Matt, you mean in. the same Matt he rubs his trainers on? You heard me clearly. Mm. The mic is trainers. on. How dare you that Matt? His, <laughs> not true. I heard. True, but someone does. And then, you know, they have the, they have the actual barefoot shoes mm. that basically, yeah. they just kind of don't have like structure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just them. wide Yeah, foot. I love them, I love yeah. them. I don't want that. My friend, no, one like my friend one time as well told me on a night out, he was really, really drunk in the Uber. And he said, Amir, to prevent you from actually swaying from left to right, sitting in the Uber, and to, pre to prevent that drunkness from happening, Jeez. take off your shoes, take off your socks. Because it's also your toes, they've got their pores in it. Yeah. So air can come in them, and that will reduce the, uh, mm. the drunkness in your, in your, in your, in your system. Do you know what a better solution yeah, to that is? Face. Don't drink. <laughs> a better, no, thank you. Don't that. drink. The best solution is don't drink. <laughs> well, busting off your shoe in the car. Hey, but, but the driver's told you to do it then. Oh, was it the driver? No, 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 it was my friend, oh, my, my friend. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I put the driver's app. I, mean, I was, a bro, why, bro. I was <laughs> like, why, why is it every time you get an Uber, you just like, is a bro, do, do, do this next time. Right, let's mm. play Get It or Got A Problem. All right. Oh, darling. Get excited, darling, isn't it? Get... <laughs> right. What we got? Calamity. Paying for a carrier bag. Does it say paying? For yeah, it? paying for a carrier bag. Reluctantly. I get it. You go first. Which, what's the problem? Red or green? Get it as green. Do I always pay though? You get no. You pay. Hold on. Why are we paying for it? Because it costs, costs money, money babe. But but no, I don't want to bring pay your for own. A it, deters, pay. it deters people. The rules from, are clear. Yeah. Some well, do you know what? I'm kind of in between because I do use it as like a bin bag in my room sometimes. <laughs> yeah, <I need> it, <laughs> You're man. So oh, you got to have, <laughs> no, you got to have the bag of plastic bags. Yeah, yeah, yeah the plastic bag. Yeah. And then I know the, I can yeah. use this actually, so I can yeah. use it. Oh, do you know what? I get it. You got to pay for it, you man. You got it, yeah. Yeah, yeah I get it. I get All right, it. I ain't got beef. I got bare bags in my gaff. That's the only beef I do have. I keep buying the bags for life, putting them in my cupboards, and then when I go shopping, I forget them. Yeah. So I have to buy another one. Yeah, I think um, it's a little punishment if you forget your bag. Cause I, I always forget and I always end up having to buy one. It's like, that's on me. Mm. I've got like, enough at home. I agree with it. I know why they did it. So I like it. But that bag inflation is mental. I swear it's meant to be 5p. It why am I spending 55p on it? No, it's, expen on. it's expensive. What the hell? I, but so I leave out, Tesco so. like this sometimes. Cause Allah, sometimes I'm, I'm stubborn. Yeah, I do the same yeah, oh, yeah, as well, Fuck yeah. The pocket, the pocket in your hoodie. Yeah, the cold. What are they? The cargo pockets, yep. yeah. Yeah, Got to be taxed. I get the cardboard boxes off the shelf. So Cold. Like oh, it's like an onion that's in your belt. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah crazy. <laughs> Go on, Max. All right. Wearing outside clothes inside. No. Inside where, do? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where? Where? Spe where? Spe specifically where? Do you mean like on your inside. bed? Let's on say bed. that. Let's say on your bed. On your bed. bed? That's on a problem. Go to hell. That's a problem. <laughs> Because you see them tubes when you sit on a tube. Oh. Well, I rancid. Oh, Bakerloo line. They've not cleaned that Bakerloo line since it opened. Boy. <laughs> I don't. I don't think this needs. I, any, care, I don't even think this is controversial. Bakerloo like, line. What's wrong with it? Have not seen it? No, wait, Listen, wait, 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 wait. What's your problem with it? He just said it. Wait, wait. Okay, but have, have, you got seen, have you not seen that one video of that guy? Um, Tapping the yes, Bakerloo line. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. It was. It was. It was, it was a bus. He, he slaps um, a chair with a hammer. Just mm. so much dust just starts coming the out. The problem is people 
defecate themselves and sit on the bus, yeah? And then you sit on the bus. Mm. Then you're going to sit on your bed with that whatever juice is. Mm. It's really, open your third eye and really think about it. Do you want to do that? But bed bugs. Before you think it's how many, how many, how many, just open the first. Bed bugs, bed bugs exist. Open any eyes. Just stop them, please. Right, okay, we all know this. why we're doing you, this. What, so as soon as you get home, you take off Let your clothes. Let me tell you something. I was straight, 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 Nothing's happened to me. I've not okay, gotten ill. This, I'm this not is dirty. what I think. I do think it's how you were raised. I was raised in a Caribbean household. You can't wear your outside clothes on the bed, on the and anywhere. Yeah, but we won't go in bed in the day. Bed is for it's, not about go, it's not about going. It's wait, not wait, about wait, going wait. bed. Yeah, I don't go to bed in my outside. Max, clothes. why are you one of those? Donnies? I don't chill in my bed. Why you one of when, the, wait, in my clothes? Were you not one of those people? Yeah, straight after school, you used to still be in your, in your uniform. My mum. No, no, I'd nah, get changed. Man, no chance. Mm. But that's because uniform was uncomfortable. Yeah. yeah too. Hmm. Do you remember? What's all this? Little, hell, hold on. I'll be up in my bedroom. You'll still be in his little tie. Can anybody see any patterns with these here? Hey, what you being? Are you being racist? Everything's about comfort for you next yeah right. literally <laughs> sorry go for Stop it chuck. it's in the way it's gonna block i mean max could have passed it to you earlier oh yeah <laughs> my bad i just wanted to dirty didn't want to dirty it up for you yeah <laughs> sorry <laughs> I'm, i am oh i'm so glad you gave, gave me this one clapping when the plane lands i love it keep it up Hug your neighbor, hug your friend, um, shake their hand. Do you know what? Say alhamdulillah for life. I get it. I <laughs> get it. I do you know what? I, I get it because I can imagine how hard it is to land the plane. Well, Aladim, it's nice. It's man. actually hard to land, bro. As a pilot, imagine you've Yo! got bare passengers relying on you. Yo! Wait, Amir, are you? Wait, I thought you were trying to say as a pilot from like no. your own experience. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, hey, we're, hey, too we're too privileged. Say, we're, say. we're too privileged in this in this life. We're too privileged. You just went from one. One country to another, another in yeah. mere hours when our ancestors were tricking for days, weeks, and sometimes months, maybe even years. Yeah. And you can't even bust a one little well done. Yeah. Be nice, man. The Clap when the plane lands. lands. Well, perfect. I'm smashed it. Smashed it. Well done, brother. See, when, do you know what it is? I think when yeah, we used to go... The plane flies itself now. No, <laughs> get out of here, man. <laughs> yeah. See, I think, it is, <laughs> I think it is when we used to go back home to Libya, yeah? It used to be like a celebration. So mm. we'd land the plane, innit? And then my dad, obviously my dad used to fly in a suit, bruv, suit and shoes. <laughs> he turned to his fr people that he's never met, shaking hands. They used to shake hands and hug and say, alhamdulillah, salam. <laughs> like, yeah, which also is like, thanks God for landing, you know, for, for the arrival. So yeah, man, I like it. It's like, there's like a sense of relief. Oh, like, alhamdulillah. When you like, land, he's like, well, oh. you're gonna die every time. Yeah! You die. yeah. yeah. It's, like, it's, like, it's like, wow. How many times have you died on a plane? <laughs> it has been very close, the turbulence. I don't give a shit. Yeah. I personally, I'm not really a fan of unnecessary noise, personally. So <laughs> like, fan, if I'm chilling, everyone starts clapping, I'm thinking, shut up, man. I ain't gonna lie. But also, if you want to do it, your reasoning is stunning. Do you <laughs> know? Yeah. But I will say, everybody else on the little plane going to Spain, that's not why they're doing it. They're yeah, just too. doing it. They're just doing it. I'd rather it was just a little silent plane. Let's get off. Let's bounce. But I will say, when everyone starts pushing to get off the plane before they landed, that. get a grip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's jarring. See, maybe if they clapped and thank God for life, they wouldn't be in they'll such be, a hurry. Sitting you know there. I mean? <laughs> Pick a card, any card, darling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, something sweet. What was that? <laughs> Having loudspeaker phone calls in public. Oh, ain't nobody want to hear your business. Just mind your business. Now, nah, sometimes it's good business. Yeah, I was going to say, personally, I love it. It's entertainment, isn't it? Yeah, well, like, it's, it's never good. tea, guys. Be honest. If you want a tea, yeah, if you want to see a tea on the train, you need to read someone's text. Yeah, really. If oh, you, I like them. If ones. you want tea, you need to. When you're on a packed train, someone's on WhatsApp. Like, yeah. Yeah. And, and it's, the font's always so big. Yeah. Because they want yeah, you yeah, to yeah, see. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. No. Loud speaker is crazy though. That's crazy. Like they're speaking loud and there's actually having a loud speaker. I can hear the response. Yeah, 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 yeah. I will say, I will say, obviously if you've got hearing issues, absolutely fine, yeah. absolutely fine. Larger. But you probably don't. Yeah. And that's my issue. But I just, I also think like people who even like play things out loud, like play TikTok on the You're so whack. Get headphones or watch it in silence. <laughs> yeah. There was a guy on a packed out tube the other week, like, you know, when there's everyone stood everywhere, he's got a belly on and just blasting drill and like even dancing to himself. I'm like, who are you trying to impress, man? Da dancing? He was dancing. Enjoy but, like, life. Like, like, like this kind of dancing. I, 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 <laughs> not, not this kind of dancing. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of dancing is that? <laughs> We're going to move on to the next segment.
America shit anyway. So now we're gonna get into some of our audience's dilemmas. Oh, I love it. Oh. Have, I got, have I got to read it? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Stunning, darling. Okay. So here you Shall are I on the screen. Yeah? Yep. Take it away, Kim. <clears throat> this is like, I've been practicing for this. Do you know what I mean? My friend's baby father's no longer wants to be involved in the baby's life. She asked me if she could use me as a child's new emergency contact, but I declined due to not wanting the responsibility. We haven't spoken, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> this is out of order. <laughs> we haven't spoken since, am I wrong? Your bedroom has asked you to be the magic contact of the baby and you said no. That's out of order, so sorry. Yeah, you're whack, man. That's, like, that's a dead friend. You're a shit person. <laughs> but not, I'm not asking you to give me 50 grand for the you. Yeah. It's just like, if Would I can't pick- it? And you came- saying you hate kids earlier. Would you do it? Yeah, but I, if my bedroom have a ki- has a kid, that is an extension of them. That's my little bedroom yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, T. Like, I a like l- that. A little, little emergency bedroom. contact. Like, if they can't pick them up from nursery, I'll go there. Yeah, yeah, But, yeah, but yeah, in this you. instance, the dad has gone like, yeah, I don't want anything to do with the kid. Are you thinking, yeah, I'll take that? Or are you trying to be like, no, that's the dad's responsibility? No, but at the end of the day, I'm not going to step up as the dad. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. I'm not the dad, but I'm still going to support my friend. Like, yeah, yeah. Every, when you have kids, yeah, you need a support system. Though, if it's like a reoccurring that's abso- situation. That's absolutely fine. Just okay. all your friends are emergency contact. That's, yeah, a, that's absolutely can fine. Pick him up? Can you take him on a school trip? They're not asking you to be there every yeah. day and be the dad. It's like, if there's an emergency, which surely any of your friends are in emergency, we don't You'd even be know each other but like she is that. Obliged, but she's obliged to say no, though. She doesn't have to. She doesn't have to, but if, if, this is, if this is your friend, I don't mind. It doesn't 100% there's actually work like that. Yeah. Well. It doesn't, exactly. because it's like, really, it's like you'd, it'd be your next of kin, probably. Like, yeah. come out of here, ejecting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Loser. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whether the day is actually loser. Max, Max, would you? I, f- like, I, I agree. I, absolutely, I would like look after any of my friend's kids. I don't think that's like, it will depend because they say not wanting responsibility it depends. They might just be very immature and be like, "Listen, you don't want me with your kid." Like it depends. I wouldn't end a friendship just on this, but it's a it's a big like sort of mm. we need to talk about. Fair. What about you? I don't know. You know, you don't want that kid. You don't want a kid, man. I could barely wipe my own ass sometimes. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> but they're not asking joke. you for the kid. That yeah, I, know, I, know, I know, I know, I know. I mean. Like, uh, yeah, I'd probably, I'd probably do that. I'd probably do them a favor. But if it's a reoccurring problem, then I gotta be like, yo, yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Dad's got a cock. Re- every yeah. single time. Friendship to me is one of the most important things mm. in life. Yeah, yeah so that's why I take this bear seriously. Like, yeah. it doesn't matter where the baby dad is or the baby mom did a da. If you need me, I will be there. Yeah, yeah. Like, right. obviously, mm. it could get a bit stressful and stuff. Yeah. But maybe that's when I speak to another friend in the group and say, listen. Do you mind also maybe picking up the kid every now and yeah, then? Like yeah. everyone, like everything's about community and family, right? Takes a village, mm-hmm. village. Takes a village. So I would never like leave my friend in the dust because her baby does a whatless eja. I will cuss him though, and I will call oh, the police. Oh, real shit. Yeah, man. Yeah, I will yeah. call the police on him. Yeah. And is this a real say. problem, by the way? I just wanna. Because huh? I'm actually curious. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's what I said. Really. Him. Mm. Hey man. I want to see if they've. I want to know if they've Check spoken yourself already. Yeah, I want to know if they've spoken. We don't need or... all the content. This is what we've got. This. Is... <laughs> We're basing. But that's what makes got. it more interesting. But yeah, but it's kind of. Yeah. But that's. Real, but the that's last bit is saying, sad though. That's like. Got, yeah. It's terrible. Assess your understanding. I hope that person's okay. Tr- truly, the, yeah. the friend. Truly. Okay. Who's host? Me again. Okay. I went to uni for a degree in law just to get my parents off my back. Since that, I've gone into a job that has nothing to do with my degree. I don't have the heart to tell my parents, so I've told them I'm working at a law firm. I don't want to keep lying. What should I do? Um, I'll start. Um, this will come to bite you in the ass, right? Mm-hmm. However, I can't personally understand. My mom was a very open, do what you want, as long as you're happy kind of vibe. But I feel like I can understand pressure of your parents wanting you to do mm-hmm. something. And I see how these scenarios ha- happen. But what I would say is like, you can't lie forever. Yeah. That was some, like, you can't lie forever. So I personally would try to find a way to tell them but maybe i'd go about a different way like tell my auntie to help break the mm. news or maybe like wait for whatever you're doing now to t- stop be do you know what i mean like prove what you're doing is worth yeah. it and then come to them and be like actually i've been doing a media degree and i'm hosting this podcast right now mm. for example and then it's like they, it's tangible because the problem is with the pressure is because they want you to be successful. I do believe that, like, as long as you're successful, a parent will be happy. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like, they might want you to be a doctor, but say I come now and say I'm actually a lawyer, whatever, you're going to be happy because I'm successful. Switch Unless you're bad yeah. vibes, then. Yeah, yeah. Like got strict parents. Mm. I guess it depends on the situation. Like, they say nothing to do with a degree, but we don't know if that's, like, they're mm. doing this big job or they're working. Yeah, we don't know, yeah. Costa, like. <laughs> um, so, like, there could be a way that you could flip it and be like, oh, I started doing 
media for the law firm and now I work I jump mm. jump like there could be a way you could do it without having to have the confrontation mm. but I don't think it should be that deep to like break the news to your parents mm. I don't actually work for a law firm like I think you should but again I don't know the situation it's hard and I think it's some, hard, yeah. some people have such way more pressure because yeah. Yeah. Mm. their like, parents might be going what's going on yeah. are you a lawyer that's what I'm yeah. saying I, did, I, didn't come from like, like, yeah. I didn't come from mm. that kind of family like yeah. my mum wanted me to do something and I was yeah. like I'm going to do this yeah. and now she's chuffing mate yeah. she's loving it if, so you, it's fine. if you've come this far with lying could just be like look I worked at a law firm but now I've such to switch careers yeah I would, say yeah. the, the, I would say the truth shall set you free. Mm. I did, definitely did come from one of those families, right? So both my parents are medics. My brother's a lawyer. My sister's yeah. doing chemeng. I used to be in finance. So mm. I went to uni and I did a degree that I didn't want to do mm. to make my parents happy. Mm. And I worked. To, I was an investment banker, which is hilarious to tell people when I left uni. And I hated it and it was miserable. And mm. even from then to now, I, I look completely different because the like, the the doing what other people wanted and and expected from me life being the eldest daughter from immigrant family as well is shit yeah. but respectfully with all due respect this is to this person your parents will pass on the people that want things from you will move on with their lives mm. and you will be left picking up the pieces so do what you want stand on it and tell your parents even if they even if they're not happy even whatever it is but it's one of those ones where it's like whatever you do do to go off what you guys said do put your whole fucking heart into it. Yeah. Run it till the wheels fall well. off. Mm. Don't just say, oh, I'm not doing what my parents did, so I'm giving up on life. Whatever yeah. it is you want to do, mm. run with it and do it proper. Mm. That's what mm. I would say. So how did you navigate that conversation <laughs> when you were moving from working in finance into presenting? Was it a conversation or was it an argument? Um, how did I navigate the conversation? I just said, man, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. And I started posting videos on the internet whilst I was still looking for finance jobs and it was actually you guys it was word on the curve that gave me my first ever platform boy hey. can you actually like slap in a picture of like my first yeah we got you because i look hella different we got you we got you <laughs> <laughs> yeah um you recognize a laugh but you recognize the face anyway um what was the conversation the conversation was are you are you serious you're joking it wasn't it's only until like maybe a couple weeks ago that they're taking it more seriously mm. i still get things of are you sure and okay, well, if you're going to do it, do this. And, you know, my parents were trying to get, when I did tell them I wanted to be a presenter, they were trying to get me to be in a news reader. I don't want to read the freaking <laughs> news, man. I don't give a mm, heck. Mm, I'm here for a good time. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So I, I did what they wanted and I proved to them that I can do it. I just don't want to. Mm. You can't make me do anything I don't want to do. So it was, it was a hard conversation. I'll be real. Being a Muslim woman in this industry is frigging hard. Um, I'm coming from like immigrant parents. Like they came and I have no family in the UK, mm. it's hard. Yeah. Mm. I think my family only really knew what I was doing. I've been doing this career for like three years now. They only found out what I was doing recently. Mm. Right. Mm. But do you think as well is because a lot of older generation don't understand the creative sphere yeah. and like how much money you can make and how yeah. much, mm. how, like, mm. I think that's the what potential. it is because it's like when p people have a, a deep understanding of traditional jobs, mm. right? Yeah. Dr. Loy, we know what yeah. makes the money. Yeah. money I don't security. think, yeah, and it's I think security. it's those two things. I that think a lot of promised. the other generation above our parents, they don't have an understanding or the visibility mm. of how much money you can make in the creative industry, how much impact you can make. Because for a lot of us, it's about impact, right? We don't do this for the peas. Mm. You do yeah. it because you like to entertain or you like to make people laugh or whatever, whatever. Mm. And the security side of it, like being freelance to a lot of parents, that's really scary. It's yeah. like, how are you gonna pay your bills next week? Yeah. Yeah. But th because they don't understand it. But I think the next generation, like us having kids, Ooh. I think you'll be calm. Like yeah. if, you're, want them yeah. to if your kid creative. came to you and said, mom, I wanna be, I wanna be, I don't know. On a Fortnite, rapper, really nice. let's write that 16 together. I don't know about the <laughs> rap. <laughs> I think that's really hard. Yeah. But I feel like we'd be more like open to them yeah. wanting to yeah, do creative 100%. things yeah. because we, we've we lived it. But our generation before that was like, get a serious job, yeah. work in the office yeah. for 52,000 billion yeah. years, get that pension and cut. And yeah. you know, it used to really upset me and it used to f fuck me off. I'm gonna be real, it used to fuck me off at the fact that they didn't get mm. it. But I understand that's from a privileged perspective. Yeah. Yeah. They weren't afforded the ability to, to go and chase do, dreams. Yeah, what the hell is chasing dreams? 100%. My dad yeah. that was running around with no shoes. Now, if first in his village to go to university and become a doctor and come to the UK. So I salute him. Mm. And yeah. it's the fact that he's sacked 
oh, I'm getting a mush. The fact that he sacrificed his dreams is the fact that I can piss about with a mic. Yeah, 100%. that's gangster. No, it's true. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's it's when I'm now pissing about with a mic, I'm gonna do it to the best of my ability because mm. they weren't able to. So 100%. it used to upset me, but now it fuses me. But they the get that. that they don't but they get understand it. that now. They get that now. Yeah, so because yeah, what yeah. they'll understand is yeah. is O's in the bank account mm. or when, 100%. I, or when yeah, I'm yeah, coming yeah. home with. Do you know what I mean, T? Or when I'm coming home with. Yeah. Even my mom like. She'll message me like, I think you should make a TikTok about this. Yeah, like, Cole, because Cole, she's Cole, seen yeah, like, yeah, 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 also because yeah, my brother's sweet. also in the creative field, like, and she gets she gets the gifting, she gets the yeah, gifting. Sick. Because now she's at the beginning, she was nervous about the security, but yeah. because she's and also because she sees how happy we are, that makes her happy. Yeah, and I think ultimately as a parent, it should always come down to like, I ain't, I ain't got kids yeah? It should be about your kids being happy. Mm-hmm. There's no point being in finance, crying your fucking eyes, like pulling your fucking blood clot hair out yeah, when team. you can be on the mic popping puss. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, <laughs> come on. Yeah, it's cold. <laughs> Right, that's it for this week's episode. Comment below what you thought about the problems we discussed. If you have your own problem, click the link, darlings. And should we say thank you? Yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, Subscribe to One of the